Hey folks, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing great. Ah, uh, well, uh, I woke up today, didn't sleep too much, so yeah, you know what it is, what it is. I've decided I'm going to be changing the titles of my, of my playthrough, because I have absolutely no imagination whatsoever. So I'm recall, going to be calling it my, my long journey through Final Fantasy XIV, and, and we'll just go day by day and, and, and see what happens, right? Anyways, with all of that, Oh, you're in sleep mode, Ida. Yeah, you didn't sleep a lot. Man. Yeah, that must be rough. Yeah. So, for today, I just did my my daily uh, story. Because, well, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with that. But it, it's, it's quite important. You get like 350 points of it. Giving us a... A good number. 965 of these tokens. Let us head over to... I know where the one is in, in Uldar, actually the easiest. Because I'm, you know, quite a dumbass. Also, my phone is on. I, I'm expecting a call. If that happens, I will have to take it. I know, I do not know how long it will be. So yeah, with all of that out of the way. Well, if for today, we are going to be doing uh, the story quest story for the ninja uh, we still have a few of them to go and then it's all hands on on like deck um yeah all hands on deck on towards the um the post play of a realm reborn i believe this is called like a realm awoken something like that not sure uh realistically you can close to 600 tomes for a run true uh we had to do the ultima uh, the Ultima weapon, which is fun, especially if your tank thinks talking is more important than anything else. But, you know, everyone's own playstyle. I think I should probably just get my cane. Yeah, my cane is holding me back quite a bit. So let's go with the White Mage weapon. So plus 15, mind 52. Yeah, wow, that is insane. Let's go get that. That's the right one. Can I still get like a earring? Spell speed plus 17. This is the choker, so that's a necklace. Let's exchange that. And let's let's, let's equip this. Let's look like 86 going into Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I was like <gasps> What the hell did I buy? But there we go. So 94 and 108. That's what I'm talking about. That's brilliant. I like that. So that is all done. Uh, we'll see what we'll do later. We're just going to be doing the things I usually do. You know? Uh, misreading a lot. And me having a good time in general. Which is, I think, very, very important for me. Anyways, let's switch to our ninja. Tough guys. Let's go into... Into... What's it called? A dojo? I think it's just called a jo dojo. Is it the same with ninjas? I think so. I would assume so, anyways. Let's get this going. Now, I'm thinking... Oh, it's so dark today. It's so unfortunate. It's raining everywhere in Eosia. Also, let me do a quick recruitment message. Get me back on social. We'll just see what happens. Okay, here we go. Guidekeeper. Ninjas are so hidden they train behind leaves. Yeah, this is the hidden shed in the uh, the leaves of um, what's this damn cool thing called again? This map. I can't remember. This map is called... Eastern L uh, Lanosia. There we go. Eastern Lanosia. The, the hidden shed in the village of... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Here we go, Boko. We are getting Jin. And I'm interesting because this brings a lot of possible skills. Making the ritual Mundra hand gesture for man. Not Jin, but man. Fine. Triggers the cooldown for weapon skills, Mundra and Ejitsu. Well, that's everything. Everything is the same. Here we go. 
Une, I look into your eyes today and I see the mind unclouded by worldly cares. The time has come. I would pass on to you the ancestral garb of the shinobi. Knowing that this day was close at hand, I've already made the necessary arrangements. With Katsutsu watching ev uh, our every move, I cannot act freely. So I asked your friends at the Rogue's Guild to send word to my village and arrange for a delivery to be set. Needless to say, this location must remain a secret. I've arranged for the goods to be delivered in the secret of the Del uh, de Never check, uh, checkpoint. A porter there will expect you. Cool. Uh, Tsubane and I must express our thanks to your Captain Jack. Be mindful in your travels, Une. We eagerly await your return. Oh yeah, man. We're going to be uh, we're going to be most likely ambushed. Sounds like a plan. Where do we go? Oh yeah, we're going to be so, so badly ambushed. Why there? Why, why there? Couldn't you just do it like in, in the Thieves Guild? You know, that would have been an idea, right? Just do it in the Thieves Guild. Uh, am I going the right direction? I am. It is so gloomy. Oh man. I don't like that at all. What's the what's the server time? Server time is in the middle. It's it's actually wow. Eorzean time. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like server time is like half past one. Yeah, that would not make sense with the incredible darkness it is. Suspicious looking porter, shadowy. Ooh. Yeah, I don't trust this. Here we go. Expecting a shipment of goods, you say? Now, that strikes me as right curious. On account of who, of how a scratchy fellow came by not long ago to claim them. They were actually yours, you say? Well, ain't that a bloody coincidence? See, the fellow I... I talk... I talked... To say that someone was like to come say just that. And that if she did. He'd pay good coin for me. To gather good, to gather good and proper. Also I see that my audio is quite loud. Let me. Drop that down. Like so. Save that. Here we go. There we go. That, that should be a bit better. Not, not a hot. So he's going to be attacking me. Imperial Shadow. Okay. And this pr other guy is just standing there, not doing anything. So, an Imperial... Wait, it was him. It was him all along. Wait, are you a Shinobi? Have mercy, if I knew you were this strong, I would have never taken the money. Seriously? Seriously, that... Oh, and if I knew you were this incompetent, I would have put you out of your misery long, long ago. There we go. It's a knife fight. Well, if it isn't my favorite... Chippering and chippering little horsebird. How come now I'm not this scary? Now, oh, oh, come now, I'm not that scary, am I? I had that from a little bird in Doma of a shipment en route to Eorzea in secret. I su uh, um, summarized, I'm quite good at that, you see, that I might have something to do with you and your friends and. I just had to know what was inside. It's my clothes, you perf. Lo behold, and what did I find but a shiny set of shinobi garb? Why, why did you not tell me it was your name day, little chick? I would have bought you something far more fitting, like a sack of castle greens. No, I fear bother dim and sister swallow. Are 
mistaken, you are not quite ready for such an honor. But it's not fault of your own. After all, the student is only as good as her teacher. But today is your lucky day, little chick, for a true master has come to take you under his wing. Four crates scattered to the winds, each containing one of the items you seek. Four of my shadows guarding each piece with their lives, a test, one when failure will mean your death. Red Roosterstad, Costa del Sol, Jairus Trading Post, Camp Overlook, Claim that which you seek by your own hand, or die in the act. It is of little matter to me. If by some chance you survive, return here. You just might find a very special present awaits you. Now, shushu, I say. Very special present, huh? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll start over here. Can we not teleport over there? Oh, man. What's near? What's what's nearby? Let's let's zoom out. Uh, yes, let's go to Costa del Sol. And get a chocobo. And we'll fly all the way back. Now, uh, I do feel that he's going to be paying my master a visit, I think. And that's not going to end well. At least, at least guys will have three characters that or three classes we can play around with now yesterday i've done a lot of the dungeons and well we still have a long list to go uh we got i'll break it done so one two three four more and then it's two i still need to unlock so if, if you're watching this and you're like yo that would be interesting might as well help Oh, there's nothing in there but oh, uh, old goat milk. Rich and creamy old goat milk, to be sure, but old goat milk is just the same. Okay, that's nice. Anyways, what I was going to say is, don't forget, to, you can hit me up, uh, add me on your friend list, Une Dosen. Uh, is it still in the tile? I honestly don't know. Pardon me, milady. Have you seen my old goat anywhere? Oh, it is you. Don't worry. This won't hurt much. Okay, we'll just do a single attack, assassinate, and he's gone. Yeah, this is so much the gear that I was going for. I'm hoping that the gear will look absolutely amazing, and... Wait, what? Wait, what the, what the fuck? Dex, Vitality, Critical Hit. Is the game dressing me wrongly? This is for a ninja. Vitality, so it's about skill speed. Oh man, you can't even trust the game at the moment. Wait, what the... F oh no. Oh no. Wrong boots. Also, not doing that. I don't care much about the others. We'll take the... I think it's more like a penalty or something. Honestly, I don't know. Costa del Sol. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that we've been specking wrongly. That we have to go like in dexterity, vitality, and skill speed. It's mainly skill speed, I think. Like, ninjas are fast, right? Well. Uh. You know. It's... That midwife, honestly, wrong moment in time. Oh dear heavens, I must have fallen asleep while sunbathing. How can I ever thank you for rousing me from slumber? Why, uh, what say I slit your throat and we call it even, eh? 
This game really can become so damn dark. Okay, let's go single hand attack. Let's do assassinate. This one's actually wait. Was he weaker than the other one? Let's take a look at what we will get. We'll get a head. Look at that, man. My defense. Why is my defense so weird? It says like it's going down by like 40. It actually is going down by 40. Dex, critical. Oh, we're going to be doing a lot more critical. Yeah. We now have strength, vitality, dex, skill speed. Let's do comparison. So our dex goes up by 2. Critical hit goes up by 14. Vitality by 3. And direct hit rate. Interesting. I can't use materia. But the item level is higher than this. And this is temporary. But I'm still going to be wearing it. And... Okay. Interesting. That's fine. We'll, we'll just do that. Let's go to the trading post in Cambron's Lake. We'll get the job done. Should go over there. Yeah, we should do. Is it? Is it really? No, it's completely the wrong area. Fine. Uh, what we can also do is... There should be another blue quest in... Um, Mordona? Yeah, Mordona I think it's called. Uh, two of them. Which we should actually just pick up. So we can unlock the... Dun what the hell is that? How would... Well, okay, whatever. Um... Main stats is dex, vitality, then overall, it usually forces on crit. Um, that, and don't know, skill speed, spell speed, technically stack until you reach a certain recast timer. Okay, that's good to know. There we go. A puller, not a fisher, it's a puller. What's with the door face, lass? Fishing just not, the fish just not biting today. Maybe they know you're already a dead woman. Okay, this is the most cringe one of them all. Go assassinate. Give me my stuff, dude. Probably gloves. No, it's pens. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing that we are adding... I don't know, like, how do you call these things? Stockings? Panties? Okay, so next up is... He is there. Suspicious looking trader. Hope you're a bit stronger than the others. Whatever possessed me to set up shop in this ungodly place, I'm like to drop dead from the fumes before I see a single kill in profit. Of course, if I bring your head back to Karasu, I'll be set for life. Yeah. Now, let's do the same thing that we did just now. See how much stronger we got. Well, not that much stronger. Still takes like five attacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, yeah, five. And this would be this would be gloves then. You, you never get the um, how do you call it? Like the the the, the um the t-shirt, t-shirt, which is fine. Now soon there is going to be the reset, um, which is going to be at 4 p.m. So I will not do. I will definitely not do. 
storyline right now. I'll do that later today. Get that additional like 350 bonus points for the tomes. And I will start doing like weapons and accessory for the classes first. The same way I'm doing like with me uh, with the white mage. But I'm definitely not doing it with the warrior because we got such good gear. Okay, your destination is known right over here. Let's take a look where he will attack from. He might, he might have killed my master. Oh, that would be bad. Uno, I'm relieved to see you safe. When you did not return, I feared the worst. Oh, I don't trust him. I think he might be... It's a trap. Karasu did what? Forgive me. I never suspected he would target you, target you on your own. It is clear now that his treachery knows no bounds. And yet, it is curious. Again, he chose to test you rather than dispatch you by his own hand. His intentions remain as inscrutable as ever. Hmm, what's this? It's a trap. Oh, yes. Karasu. Welcome back, Une. And hello to you as well, Oboro. I left this present I promised you on your doorstep. Such a shame that you weren't at... Uh-oh. Oh, I think we need to go back fast. The dogs! Tsubane ba Baikubo Yome. We must hurry. Bene, I realize it is far too early in your training for this, but the situation is grim. Your only hope of surviving the battle ahead is for you to learn the Mudra Jin. This is the Mudra that will allow you to harness the energies of your fellow man. It is also the final Mudra that I can teach you. Awesome. Alright, well, well, we'll have to practice somewhere. If he doesn't give me somewhere to hit. Now, I'm not particularly sure what order I want to set that up. Because I think we'll get like three additional skills. And there is a gouge unlocked apparently. And that's over there. We need to definitely switch it. You can view the gouge description from the actions. Okay. That's an interesting way of saying that. Let's go to hot layout. And put you right over there. Let's take a look. So we now have three. But I'm sure that he is going to be telling me what to do. You have now learned Jin, the final Mundra that I, that I can impart on you. Combine it with the Mundra you've already mastered, and you will find four new ninjutsu, ninjutsu techniques available to you. Time is short, so listen well. The first is Hayoten, Ice Release, from Ten Jin or Chi Jin. So it's actually the combination of those two will give us, apparently, Ice. Energies will summon BK. Interesting. The second is uh, Huton, Wind Release. So it's Jin C10. That's a combination of three. Jin C10 or Shi Jin 10. The wind will gather and swirl around you. Looks like it's, it's probably an, an, an area of effect. The fact is, the third is Doton, Earth Release. Then Jin C or the Earth itself will move at your will. Uh, we'll be testing all of them out. Finally, there is Soiton, release of water from Tenji Jin or Chi Ten Jin. Water will course and flow through you. As for how each technique will avail you, I trust you will learn on the field of battle. Now, let's hurry. Tsubame, it might be in danger. Yeah, field of battle, huh? That's nice. Let us... Do we actually be taught that? I think there is training dummies over there. Yeah, they definitely don't give you a good introduction to that. That's true. Um. Hey, Alan. 
Um, there should be... I think there's training dummies here. There's a striking dummy. There we go. Alright, so we have three now. Uh, we'll start just practicing. Uh, let us end with this one. This is the water attack. And it seems like a single attack. That is the exact same attack. Starting with 10. Chi Jin. So the next one. So the next one is then. Um, this is seems like an. Ooh. So starting with 10. Jin. Shi. Now what else do we have? It, it's in here. Right? Okay, maybe it's not. Um, let's start with Jin. Work our way backwards. That seems to be a moon. What does this do? I don't know what it does. Uh, we started with 10. And we know this one. Raises attack speed. Oh, nice. Wait, what? Uh, bodies involved with a light bending veil of water allows the use of action normal quite hidden status. Oh, wait a minute. I can now use... Trice attack. That's it. Interesting. Okay, we need to write that down. Hutan. Hutan doesn't have anything. So Hutan is kind of meh. Useless. That's probably Hutan again. Alright, um... Alright, that reset it all of them. Alright, let, let's get a, a web page with this because you know uh Final Fantasy 14 Ninja uh Mundras. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, wait, of course, yeah. Okay, so from any of these, we'll do this attack. Doesn't matter. Then you have any two of these, we'll do that is a hydrant. Then you have uh, which one's actually good? I'm thinking Doton is probably most Doton and Horon. So that would be the way I set this up right now. Yeah, this will do... Foul magic corrupts the ground, dealing earth damage to any who treads upon it. So this is your area of effect that will damage them. Like 83 every so many seconds. Then you have... Uh, this one. And this will give you... Absolutely nothing. Interesting. Uh, the other one is Saiton, which is blue, red, yellow. Here we go. Weird. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm sure we'll do fine. What could possibly go wrong? So Ten Chi Jin Chi Ten Ten. Kind of you need except the ice one, yeah. So the ice one is just useless. So uh, uh, let's do practice one more time. This, this, that. We'll do this, and then yellow, blue, red. 
is the exact same point. Oh yeah, that's marvelous. Reset you. Um. Again, man, this is annoying. This one, yeah, this one is useless, so going backwards is useless. Okay, so you, you, and you, useless. There's a lot of them, this might take me a while actually. That's the better one. It means that I need to bring him closer. What buff? I didn't see a buff. These are my buffs. Like this one gives the area. Like I don't. S oh, it is it this then? You just want to make sure you keep the clock running. Is that it? So it doesn't really matter as long as we just make sure that this doesn't run out. Does any any of them does this, right? No, it doesn't increase that. Only the wind one. Man, that's annoying. So this, that, this. This is the most important one then. It, it's your single combat thing. So when that is up. We can go. I need to memorize this a bit. Weird ass water one. Come on, give me back some points. Another water one. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. Oh man, this is difficult. Now let's go hide. That is Roten. With Doton. So, one, two. Oh, I'm, f I'm going to be effing this up immensely. No wonder, you know, this rotation memorization is difficult. The crap. Okay, right, let's take a look. If we do, like, Final Fantasy XIV Ninja level 50 rotation. I love that. I don't need videos. Just give me openness. I, I need to see things happening. Yeah, that's precisely not what I wanted to see. Damn it. Oh, they just like start naming it. Need to start with Oten. So that is Jin T10. Uh, which is this, that, this, Oten. Okay. Use height for reset. After six seconds, start with Soton, which is. Ten Chi Jin. Ten Chi Jin. So that's backwards. Dear Lord. Then immediately we cut ka Katsu, which I do not have yet. Then spinning edge grade 6 poison cast muck. Oh my bloody god. What is this? They're not even like using the the area one, which was let's do not that one. That's resetting. That one. Oh man, this is horrible. What button did I push, by the way? Oh no, go away, go away. Uh oh, there we go. Three or more targets. Yeah, you know, if I can memorize it, yeah, I will. Okay, whatever.
Okay, stop fighting, Bert. He did not do anything for you. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're pissed. You're pissed. Leave the dummy alone. He didn't do anything. Leave him alone. The nerve. Seriously. So, let's go back and let's make a bloody big fool of ourselves. So, the most important thing is then getting the attack speed buff. It's going to be a nightmare and a half, I tell you that. Oh, I love flying. So good. So, so good. But I promised I wouldn't do it too often. Uh oh. Well. Uh, they sure as hell love their weapons. Shuriken. A battle was fought here. I hear no sound from within. Tsubane must be somewhere. Um, Baikubu has lost his words from the shock. He can tell us nothing. Come. We must find Tsubane and quickly. What? He's in shock? I think she's dead. I, I think she, she's dead. Just my guess. Oh, well, she might still be alive. Yeah, oh no, she's alive. Never mind. Here we go. We're actually downgraded from level 50 to 49. He left first. When you were... Tsubame. It is just a flash wound. Oboro, look out. Come now, little swallow. Uh, say that it hurts and you were scared. Tell the dim one how. I took great pains uh, to see that you were fully awake for every moment of agony and terror. Wait, you just casually go there? I would draw my knife and just get at him. Karatsu, this time you've gone too far. Yes, yes, those are the eyes I want to see. Let the anger, the hatred burn away any spot of doubt that remains in your heart. The fire in your eyes resolve born from all consuming flames of rage and passion. The look in your eye that day when you looked on as your friends, your countrymen were massacred, powerless to end the slaughter. Uh, be silent, be silent, be silent, be silent! <laughs> Tsubame, stand back! I shall slice this cow's tongue from ear to limb, from tear to limb, from limb. What? With my bare hands, you're drawing your knife, dude. <laughs> Such pure, unadulterated malice. Finally, you are the adversary worthy of my blade. The true shinobi, ever calm, doubtful to his master. Presence of mind, yes. The first few times we met, you fought with all the passion of a mokoji. Today, you stand before me as a man. You wanted a battle, and today you shall have one. No retreat, no reprieve. The defeat that shall die like a dog. And the victor, the victor tale, victor's tale will continue for another day. Okay. Let's go. Okay, um. Let's go. Oh, I effed up. Right off the bat. I'm bunny mode. Alright, go back. Come on. And then backwards. Water. Go control and do a bit of a bit of attack. 
Then I cannot remember the other one. There is a bat. What's the medium circle doing there? Uh, I'm going to kill these guys. And do that again. Alright, now it's time that we go deal with this, I think. Destroy the circle quickly. Well, you could have said so sooner, master. Right, let's keep that on. Right, there's more than three. What was it again? This, this, that. Definitely not that. Okay, let's get some HP back. And... That is also not what I was looking for. How hard can it be? How bloody hard can it be? Um, there we go. Time for you to meet your maker again. I finally did all of them. All three of them. I'm so proud of myself. And oh, he died. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, he didn't die. The f Come on. Karasu Redbeak, in the name of our elders, I'll, I take your life as divine retribution for your crimes. Your bloodstained beak will feast on the innocent no more. <laughs> does he truly believe those words? <laughs> yeah, he does. Ah, yes. This beak is stained with blood. This I do not deny. But I am not the leader of this mur of it, this murderous flock. Look at me, man. I look like a uh, an idiot. Yeah, let's call it an idiot. I tr I'm I tire of your riddles, Redbeak. Give me one reason why I should not separate your head from your shoulders. Oh dear, what a pickle I find myself in. How can I put this in terms even a dim one can understand? I am not the traitor you seek. He is not I, and I am not he. You believe I was the only one who fled Doma? Are you sure, absolutely certain, did you see the bodies, the faces, of all your brothers who fell that day? Think, think, think. I know this is not the strength of yours. Oh, I love this guy. He is so amazing. But surely you remember one body maimed so badly that only the possessions could identify the man. And the face. Could it even be called a face? Not but shattered bone and shredded flesh remains where once had been the proud features of... Yeah, your master. <laughs> you lie. One more word. One more twisted, deceitful word, Redbeak, and I will... I will... Oh, God, this character is amazing. Oh, oh, Boro. Poor, sweet, stupid, oh, Boro. How long will you continue to deceive yourself? You lie, Redbeak. As you always have. Did betraying our homeland not stage your first for treachery? That's how... Uh, that's now. That now you must drag our master's name through the mud. Answer me this then. If you were not a traitor, then why did you flee the village that day? You said he was fleeing. You made it up. Like, he said fleeing. How often have I asked myself the same? Oh, how simpler things would have been had I been as naive as you. But the circumstances of Master Gekai's death did not sit well with me. 
I left the village looking for answers and found something far more interesting. Our master himself, alive and well. In that instant his hand was at my mouth and his blade at my neck. A simple choice he gave me. Follow him and live, refuse and die. I would like to say I weighed my decisions heavily, heavy, heavily, but the answer really was quite clear. Death is so final after all, while life, even a life spent as an imperial spy, holds so many opportunities. What's the matter, dim one? Did you still find my tale hard to swallow? Oh, believe as you will, redemption means little to a dead man. Are you going to kill me? Yes. That is your mission, after all. Sworn in the sight of the elders, tradition and custom, and so on and so forth. Cradle keep Quay. Quay? When the time is right, he will come, and at, at, at end all will be revealed. I just thought I'd tell the one who shows herself capable of listening to reason. The light grow dim, the sun turns black in the sky. Our hero fought, fought bravely, even, but his chapter in his grand mummery has come to a close, summoning his last breath. Our hero speaks. Okay. Oh. Just promise me one. Uh, just promise me. Promise me this, Orbo. Whatever your mission, should you fail, just don't go off dying. I know how fond you are of your traditions, but this is a new era. And we are not our ancestors. Besides, such an end just wouldn't become a solemn youth. Such an end just wouldn't become a solemn youth like yourself. So live and leave the dying to those who can do it in style. Yes? I may not have been the hero I thought I was, nor the villain you would have me be. But from beginning to end, I was me. And there is nothing I would rather be. Farewell, cruel world, and good bloody riddance. Okay. Now he bites off his tongue. Wait, Garatsu! The fuck? No place to hide a grenade, boy. <laughs> wow. What can this all mean? Well, it's not that difficult, dude. You are a dim one. Master is alive. And you're being played. Even worse... You didn't give me my gear before the fight, so I'm quite pissed at you. Garasu is dead, our mission complete. Yet, you will forgive me if I'm unsure how to feel about the turn of events. In any event, there is nothing more that can be done here. Tsubame is wounded, let us bring her home. Alright, let's go. That was a. I like that story, actually. That was a good one. Like, I didn't like the Rogue 2 Ninja, but the Ninja itself, so far, oof. Mm -mm -mm -mm, I liked it. I'm, I'm looking forward to the others. Okay, he's all back, he speaks again. When last we meet, I was not myself. Pray forgive me, Master Abura awaits inside. Of course he does. He always does.
I was like, who the hell is this? But it's another guy with... Oh, cool. That looks actually quite nice. The green. I'm sure I'll be getting this. Yeah, I get why... Wait, could I turn that off? Yeah, that's better. There we go. The mission that brought me to Eorzea is complete. One starts with bears, wounds heal. We have no reason to sojourn further in these lands. And yet, if Garasu spoke true, no, it simply cannot be. Fine, whatever dude. Master and student, let's do it. And we get the ninja chainmail. And then we'll get the I level 90 carp and the skill called Katsu uh, allows the execution of a single Nuditsu without consuming any uh, increased damage for the next Nuditsu action by 30%. Oh my god, there's so many. I think this is. It, does this class have like the most skills or something? I need to redo my, my skill bar, that is certain. And let's go. Ah, Une. Your return pleases me. I fear I might miss the chance to bid you a proper farewell. Yes, we will be taking our leave from your realm. My mission is complete and Satsube's wounds have all but healed. Tradition dicta dictates that we return to our elders to deliver tidings of our success. Redbeak's last word. I will not lie, at first they weighed heavy on my mind, but in the end I am a shinobi. I came to this land to perform a role, not out of curiosity or spite. Mayhap Master Gagu still lives, mayhap not. It is no longer my concern. Katsura is dead and with his passing it is time to close the curtain on his chapter of our lives. Before I leave, I would ask you one favor. There is a place I would visit before we depart your realm. I would go alone to gather my thought. Could you pray look after Tsatsube while I am away? Her conditions have much improved, but I would not take any chances. Think, oh, he is going to die. I was right. Hello, Mr. Kula's Bunny. Wait, never mind. Were you standing there or, or like anyone seen like Naruto? Uh, Hinata? In Hinata. He's like, oh, I'm just shy. Something like that. I forget it was Hinata or something like that. It's been a while since I actually wrote it, uh, read it. Your concern is most touching, but I'm quite fine, Une. In fact, uh, it would seem that the injuries I suffered were not nearly as grave as they appeared. On first glance, it would appear that Katsure means uh, meant more to fan the flames of Ouroboros' ire than to cause true harm. Speaking of Ouroboros, have you seen him about? It's not like him to disappear in the midst of our preparations for departure. Alone with his thoughts, you say? Where do you suppose he might have gone? Let's, uh, let's say four falls. I got no clue where he is. Limsa Le Minza is quite a large place. The Bronze Lake. I don't think he's there because he wanted to go. The Bronze Lake has this sauna. Right? We've, we, we've witnessed a bathing suit action over there. So it's going to be four falls. The place where, you t uh, where the two of you practice. Yes. He always had a fountain of waterfalls. Yes. That is it. It must be. Une Orbo is not himself afraid. Perhaps I worry over much. But I could never forgive myself if something ill were to befall him. You will go look after him for me, will you? I seek not to change his heart. If his heart is truly made up, I wish only to know his true feelings, that I might support him in whatever humble way I can. Uh. I think it, it would be faster going through over here, or over there, than flying from here. Well, we don't have to fly. Make up your bloody mind. Let's go to Ilport. 
yeah, this is going to be this is going to be annoying. I need to get rid of some skills, um, and I do know of leg sweep is not that interesting. I do need all of these. Leg sweep not so much. I want to hit Hayden and try to take over here, and we might just rearrange my Nijitsu over here so I can use con uh, shift and then go back to four. Not sure yet. Um, let me know how you set up. Why so serious? Oh, that title is so good. I'm still expecting the phone call, but I fear that the planner has forgotten to call me, so I might need to check my work schedule in a second. You know, we'll just see what happens. I might just have to give him a call like in a second. I know he's been streaming for an hour, but I need to know where I work tonight. You know, kind of annoying to drive somewhere and then you have to return to another place. I would feel bad. It's so fast. I love it. Oh, he's still alive. Well, that's nice. Didn't get any gear pieces. Okay, what do we do with this? Let's practice. Um, I think faint is very good. Lowest target physical damage dealt by 10% much damage. So that is going to be an important skill. Quickly to a specific location. Yeah, that's my oh shit moment skill. Arms length. Is actually quite good. Because you generate a slow effect for 20%. Second wind always handy. Blood path will actually read good and this will do less damage. So if I think we want this over here. Then we can do shift those skills. Go back to four. I will pray. I need to practice that a lot. Anyways, let's go. What are you doing here, Une? I took you for a woman of your word. Tsubona sent you, didn't see. It looks like I was a fool of thinking I could fool you too. How know me so wait, who know me so well? Ever since that day, this is the only place in the world where I can find a moment's respite from the turmoil that rages within me. And yes. The instant the sound of Sound uh, the instant the sound of the clashing water fades from the earshot, it all comes flooding back. You have proven. The fuck was that? Oh, never mind. You have proven yourself a true hero to us, and a worthy shinobi in your own right. Answer this to me, Une. For what? For whom do you wield your blade? Um. Let's go let's go with, with the sucking up answer for those around me. Yes. I knew you a woman after my own heart, you know. Standing here just now, that is the answer that I arrived at as well, did you? I speak in earnest to you, you know. Our battle with Katsuru is dying words. They left me a changed man. And I can no longer deny what I have become. For so many years I questioned nothing. Tradition, custom, my mission. I was a shinobi, a blade. And a blade does not think. It shuts off the doubts. The emotions that threatens to rise to the surface. And told myself this was uh, this was true presence of mind. I lie to myself no longer. In confronting Karasu, I confronted myself, looking upon Tsubain, lying battered and beaten like my countrymen so many years ago. I felt a single, all-consuming desire to visit retribution upon those who wronged us and to do so by my own hand. I have made my decision. 
I shall go and face the truth, for it is only in doing so that my heart will ever know true peace. I will go alone, and I will hear no more of it. You and Subain have sacrificed and suffered more than enough. The battle that awaits is mine and mine alone. Ah, he's going to die. If it is Master Gekai, I find at the end of my journey. So be it. One of both of us will die. It matters not. Either way, my mind will be at rest. You have been a true friend and ally, Une. Farewell. Okay. Oboro. Wait, she also followed me. Why do I have a whip? Not very convenient to place with my tail. Okay. You are now my master. Well, forgive me, Une. It was all... It was as my legs moved on their own accord. It is just as I imagined. Oro means to confront Master Gekai. Even if it's costing him his life. He has made his decision and I will not stand in his way. But neither will he stand in the way of mine. Wherever, wheresoever Orbo fights, I will fight beside him. If it's not too much to ask, pray lend your strength to us one final time, Une. You have proven yourself a true shinobi and your blade, unfettered by tradition or, contra of, or convention? May just be what turns the tide, the, uh, the turns the tide of battle in our favor. Orbo did not say where he was heading, but we already know, don't we? Karusu's last word: cradle keep query. Let it, us see what the guards there might tell us. Five, four, okay, fine. Let's not listen to your master then. And this one, I think... Is it up there? I think not. I think we need to be... Ah, oh, I think it matters. No, absolutely nothing. Yeah, it actually does. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm an idiot. We'll just ninja ourselves in here. I don't trust any of them. Oh, never mind. I'll open the gate for the, for the master. Any unusual happenings of late? Not as such. Save for a small private ves a vessel uh, scheduled to dock tomorrow at the crack of dawn. Other than that, it's all quite, uh, all pretty quiet around these parts, as it wouldn't be. Funny thing though, you're not the first one to ask that question. A milkmaid, a fairly, a fairly commonly one at that. Came by not minutes ago asking the very same. We're going to do this uh, together. You don't have me. I'm just following you now. Makes no sense. Is it her, right? Is that so? Oh. The milkmaid... Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. The milkmaid is one of Orbo's favorite costumes, as we might suspect. He's one step ahead of us. If we could rendezvous with him somehow, it would give us the advantage in numbers. And yet, the risk of exposing ourselves to our foe is too great. We should observe from the shadows until Master Kekai reveals himself. I will take upon position... I will take up position on the western shoreline you take to the high ground and keep watch from the propriety over there between the two of us that should cover the entire quarry quay it's like it's quay or quarry quay i think
I was actually in the right position. Destination over there. Okay, level sync. I told you to stop. <clears throat> oh, never mind. That's a gorgeous view. I actually blended in very well there. I, I'm impressed. Wait. Asians? <clears throat> no. No, Imperials. These guys are... They don't care. Who goes there? Show yourself. I know a rat when I smell one. He actually looks quite cool. There's Ober. I trust that I am speaking with the Guardian Empire's chief of espionage and covert operations. None other. But you can call me master if you like, young one. For all time's sake. You're full of respite these days, young one. The Orbo I knew would have been on the first ship back to Dorma once Karasu showed his last chow. Cow. Yeah, cowed his last cow. Well, whatever. Uh, you look sturdier than I remember. If a bit gaunt to the cheeks, are you getting enough rest? You always worked just a bit too hard for your own good. All these years it was you. You who taught me the way of the shinobi. You who I loved as a father. Why master, why? Why else? For our village of course. I simply made a choice that any true shinobi would make. Ah. Don't tell me you require, uh, you require a history lesson, young one. Since the time of our ancestors, the shinobi have served many masters. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm keep making... I'm trying to make this picture because I think it's cool. I love his face. For many years, I served Doma. Then, when the time was right, I chose a more powerful master. Fortunately for me and for our village... My servicer were in high demand. Have you never wondered why, or, or Oboro, why when the Doman Rebellion was crushed by the Empire, was our village alone spared Garlemans, uh, why, was our village alone spared Garlemans wrath? It was because of my actions. I protected us where the entire nation of Doma could not. There we go. Finally have it. Protected. You betrayed us all. The people of Doma trusted us. Do you know how many Domans died that day? We swore our lives to protect them. And you sold them in, uh, onto slaughter. Do you feel nothing? Not even the twinkle of remorse at the mask that you brought upon your countrymen. Countrymen? What is Doma to me when weighted against the ancient and glorious history of my fellow shinobi? History is littered with the husk of fragile men who have who, who gave their worthless lives to bring glory to their betters.
I hoped against hope that Garso was wrong. That this story was not but the twisted lies of a sad fool. But no, I was the fool. Master? No, Gekai. For you I know master of mine. In the name of the souls, of the untold thousands whose blood is on your hands, I declare your life forfeit. That's uh, interesting, even he thinks it's hilarious. Ah, revenge is it. Revenge for foot soldiers and peasants. Is that what this is all about? That's why you lingered here like a festering boil after your allotted, allotted, allotted mission was completed. Forsaking your role, what the, f why, what, where did they come from? Forsaking your role for some selfish fight of fancy will not earn you many friends back home, Morabo, nor here. For more time I spend in Garlemand, the more I realize that the Empire's quite suited me. There is something to be said for the culture that values merciless strength above all. I've won over quite a few loyal subordinates. That's, that's good for him. Poor little one. All your lofty words. And here you stand alone. You are alone because you are weak. He has no subordinates, this is true. This isn't an army after all. But Orobo has something you will never have. Comrades who believe in him and the ideals for which he fights. So Anna, how did you... Okay, uh, let me have my hero entrance as well. Come on, landing on one knee. Not just me, Orba. Une too has come to fight at your side. Come on, dude. No, where's my fleshy entrance, comrades? You have chosen the company of a glorified sellsword over that of a master who made you what you are. Oh. How far my pupil have fallen. You are the one who has fallen, Gekai. Une fights with a sense of honor and purpose that you have long forgotten. Look at him go. Oh no, no smoke! Do it again! C climb up there! She, f she forgot. No, she, f she forgot. It's not her fault. They were out of smoke. You know, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. Just give me my garment. I want to look cool. But not so revealing. Still cool. My friends, my comrades, I am honored to fight at your side. Let us show my false master what true strength is. Okay, finally, here we go. Okay, so we, we changed our skills, so it might be a bit annoying. We'll see what happens. Let's take care of the subordinates first, and then we'll backstab the guy. Okay. Oh, I messed up already. I told you I switched, didn't I? There you go. Why is he... I'm, I'm not here to do that. Go away. Yeah, I might need to set them back. Because this is actually quite annoying. Okay, that Imperial is gone. Not to be kidding me, dude. I can do that too. There you go. Okay, we get that back. But three versus one. There's no way we can lose this. Okay, let's go with that. No, they're not even running. Like, they're so full of themselves. Okay, let's get the buff up. What do you think you're doing, bruh? Come here. Do a bit of mugging. Uh, let's go. You, you, you. 
Uh... Go on, do the bunny. Oh, he has four. We're going to be fighting ten over here. Uh, I'm out of them. Bloody hell. Oh, wait, these ten Chi and Jin? But what the hell? Maybe we should just help him. He seems like he almost died. So quite like. Okay. Um, you, 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 you. And then do that one. There you go. You get some of that. I, I teach skills. I got it. Let's get some HP back. And let's use you and you. And now it's time to get our buff up. Sprint out of that. Do an assassination. Man, these, these skills, them, they're going to be absolutely... So I think I will put them back over there. Uh, I will just see how we can do it. Yep. You died. Imperial spy. You deserve it. To my inner thank you. It is though your belief in me that I was finally able to believe in myself. Oh, he's going to cry. Dear God, no. Don't cry. Don't cry, master. Oh, just a tonic of time. Always those damn chat bars. Can I just get rid of him? No. And Kakur, uh, Karasu, you had a hand in bringing this chapter to a close. You may be gone, but you are not forgotten. <laughs> Fuck the back of his head. <laughs> ah, that's almost sound like a eulogy. It would almost make me wish I was actually the I did. Oh, look at him go. Why is everyone so happy? Karasu, you're still alive, but how? Look at him go. He just got rid of the paint on his face. Yeah, nobody remembered him. It's like Clark Kent and Superman. You know? The glasses, dude. The glasses. Nobody would realize. Well, when it comes to playing dead... I did learn from one of the best, you know. I see, but why vanish only to return? Oh, just an undelivered, uh, an undelivered present. It's a bomb. This is the fifth and final piece of Une's traditional garb. Let it never be said that I don't complete my missions, even if it's just playing delivery boy. You know, we just let him go? Simpler's disguise work best. Definitely true, mate. Wait, Karasu, the elders who named you traitor in our village, they were simply blinded to the truth. As was I. He did kill, still kill a lot of people. For I explained... They will surely see. They they will surely see a reason. Please let us return home together. Nah. What? What's this now? Now that wasn't in the script. How soon we forget, Orabo? It was. I was not a traitor. No, but I did follow him. That makes me just as much a traitor, at to at least in their eyes. He's right. Yeah, you you can't. Yeah. He, the, He's right. Perhaps so. At the same time, you risk your life for what you believed in. We are not so different, uh, different, you and I. The sentiment is most touching, but my answers remain no. The village was always a bit too cramped for me. I prefer to spread my wings on a 
grander stage. He is going to be my master. The honored deed of my present do not erase the terrible crimes of my past. I was a spy and assassin. Quite a good one, I might add. And for all the blood Gekkar had on his hand, mine are nearly as red. In the Elder's mind, you had one mission, Orbo. Why complicate the matter? He throws a dagger. Oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Bring this back and tell the others what they want to hear. The traitor Karasu Redbeak is no more, slain at your hand. You will be welcomed as a hero, while my faith will even be grander. I will at long last be free. If that is how you would have it, Karasu, then so it shall be. But this I promise you, surely, surely, uh, slowly but surely, our village will change. I will take what I have learned and build a village that honors all of our fallen. A village you could be proud to call home. Right. Just don't get too cocky now or I'll have to come back and put you and your whole village in its place. I look forward to that day. Let us meet again on the battlefield and pit our ideals against each other as we did that day. If yeah, man. So when do I summon bets? Why they always leave me behind? Could they just not teleport me with them? I have to go all this alone. Yeah, we want to have you with us, Rene. You've been great, Rene. And then they get on like a bloody horse. They ride off and like, the fuck, man? What? What? What about me? Yeah, never. Yeah, I thought so. Damn it. Ah, oh, fine. We'll just do it ourselves, master. You may enter. That would be nice. Now give me my garment. This, this can't be too much of a talk, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. One and a half hours. We were already gone. Doing two missions. It is strange, Une. All this time I believed I was instructing you in the way of the Shinobi. And yet now all of this is done, I feel I should be the one to call you teacher. Thanks to you, I finally achieved true clarity and presence of mind. My blade is stronger for it, and more important still, I now understand what I'm truly fighting for. Mind or body, by any measure, you are every bit my equal as a shinobi. Save for one final technique, which I will now impart to you. Kasu... Uh, ka, ka, kasatsu. Great. Use it to rearrange the energies channeled into your body and unleash powerful ninjutsu techniques. One after the next. But be warned, if your tongue... It, in your tongue it means quite literally life and death. Which one it means for you will depend entirely on your presence of mind. And with this I believe we have both satisfied the, re satisfied the respective sides of our initial agreement. I will return to our village, which means I must bid you farewell. Though perhaps not this day. I would see my home change for the better and introduce new ways of thinking to complement the old. But before I can, there is much I still uh, learn about this land. I still must learn. Oh, he's staying. What? And so I will go on ahead and report to our elders the success of Orobo's mission and inform them that he will return as soon as he 
recuperates from the wounds he sustained in battle. With the soul crystal that Karasu gave us, no one will doubt the success of our mission. It is a flawless plan, if I do say so myself. Yes, how fortunate we have that I thought of it. Never change, Orobo, promise me that. And with that, Une, it seems that it is I who will bid you farewell. You've been a true friend, and my heart awaits the day when we shall meet again. Okay, now go poof. Uh, that is not a good sight. Oh my. Oh, say, they should have given me pens before I make a bow like that. But you will return to give Orobo's lesson from time to time, yes? I will not convince that his bows are as masterful as he seems to think. Seriously, that bow. That was not good, man. Uh, you get the Naruko Frogo eventually. But yeah, I like that. Do I also get, like, um, the change? Getting the stripes on my face and be absolutely godlike. And there we go. That is what it is for the uh, A Realm Reborn. Jesus. So, yeah, let, let's just get this back. I just cannot get used to that. All of this can go back. Uh, hide on 12. Sneak attack. Probably 10. We'll just see what happens. Also, we now have new gear. Uh, we'll just equip this for now to see. Yep. Very revealing. Very revealing. Uh, let's use this coffer. Oh, it's, it's just a different color, huh? Okay. That's, that's nice as well. We're now purple. It looks good on me, actually. I like it. It's really nice. You're imagining, yes. Going full Super Saiyan. No, man. It is... It, what's it called again? It was called... Uh, uh, Sagan. Sa Sagan mode? Sagan? Sagan? Not Saiyan. Saiyan is something else, man. It's a bloody Dragon Ball. It's... Goku. Goku going Super Saiyan. When, when Krillin died. Oh my god, why do I tell... Why do I say these things? And with that... I think I do want to go to Teladon. To the price of principles. But first... I'm going to let my dogs out. Uh, we can actually just take... Shortcut. So once the dogs are out, I I'll send a text to the planner like... Okay, um, what is it that we're going to be doing? Tonight... Like, do let me know, and, you know, we'll see. Okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, see you in a sec.
Alright, so I wasn't able to reach them anymore. I think that is basically... It is what it is. I'll, I'll see later today what we'll go on. If he calls still, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up. Uh, other than that, I'll be continuing for another 55 minutes probably. Uh, because I do need to take a nap. Feeding the dogs, feeding something, see, feeding myself. And then taking a nap for the night shift later today. So let us take a look. What's my current eye level? Anything I can change? No. Look at this. My item level is like 52, which is extremely, extremely low. But it, it will be fine. Let us... Let us get over here. To the walking sand. And continue the prize, or the prince of principles. Our very first quest in, in, in version 2.1, actually. I don't have any missions over here, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what will happen. Uh, we have three classes we can play around with. Two of them are better geared than the last one, but you know, all in due time. We have enough time. I can simply do the storyline when I have some time and just save one point. So don't be alarmed if my garment changes, because, you know, eventually it will change. I bought my dice from Infilia. It's been a while. Uh-oh. Is that a blue quest? A recurring problem? Darn it. It's a primal problem. Oh, no. I know you have, uh, you have scares. I know you have scares had a chance to rest. But I'm afraid there is still work to do. The ultimate weapon destruction, it would seem, has served to embolden the beastmen, who now seek to claim, to call down the gods once more. This is the hard ones, right? Okay, yeah. Gotta deal with the hard modes at the same time. Yeah, darn it. Forgot about that. Didn't know Menfilia had the mission. Even as we speak, the Almeja, the Exile, and the Kobolds. Jesus Christ. Are making preparations for their respective summon rites. And that is but half of it. Much of our dismay, all the three tribes were somehow able to procure vast qualities of crystals. Oh, my turn to say something. Um, basically, this means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Far, far stronger. The previous incarnations will seem a as pale imitations. The beast tribes we believe began hoarding crystals with a vengeance in the wake of the Ultima's weapon's maiden appearance. You will remember that as the time it devoured three pri primals in one sitting. Yeah, I would be scared as hell as well if I was one of those tribal, tribal, tr tribal tribes. I would be like, oh shit, that ain't good. I don't feel safe anymore. The, tri the grand companies are aware of the potential primal outbreak. Alas, due to the loss, losses they incurred to ensure the success of Operation Arkan, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. After the liberation, the leaders concluded that they must turn to us once more, to D. The Ifric waves that were absorbed in, Do uh, in Mordona do not appear to bear any connections to any beast tribes. Yet much is more still remain. Uh, yet much and more is still remains still remains beyond our knowing. We must pre be prepared for all possibilities. I am lo uh, I'm low to send you into the midst of dangers again so soon, but none have proven themselves more capable against the primals than you. Will you undertake this mission, Une? I will, I'm a shinobi now. You have my thanks. I truly do not know what we would do without you. Go ahead, Tantrant. <laughs> While circumstances as they were, with circumstances as they were, I haven't had a chance to properly express my gratitude. Hey MC, how are you doing? I owe you my life, Une. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. 
a string of failures had left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger, that I might do right by my fellow science. But instead I caused you all no end of grief and suffering. I swear to you, it shan't happen again. Owing to everyone's ministration, I am quite recovered now. I hope to return to my duties again soon. Oh, stretch it. Much better than last night this morning. Oh, did, didn't you feel good? Sorry for that. Um, doing good. I'm um, continuing to six, then I'll uh, quickly eat, feed the dogs, and take a nap. Dangerous return marks the beginning of a new chapter for the science. Is it science or sky science? I think you pronounce it the same way, I think. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press ever forward. Now then. Back to the matter of the primals. With no fewer than three of the, of the beings threatening to appear, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. We must take it one sure step at a time. Uranger has the overview of the situation as it stands. Sp uh, please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission. Yeah, I will do that, but not right now. Like, we'll get the mission to get the primals, like the hard mode. I'm not doing that right now. Like, my goal is simple. My goal is to deal with that. Yeah, last night dinner had a strong smell. And the smell made me nauseous, so I went to bed late. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see that you're feeling better now. So, this will give us a ring. Which might serve our ninja by the looks of it. Vitality, attack speed, critical hit. Strength, skill, speed, direct hit. I think it might be this one for maiming. Strength, vitality, direct hit. I don't see anyone with dex. Oh, it's spell. It's skill, speed. This is skill, speed as well. I think this is this is the one we go for. Um, yeah, let's go. Ah, Une, it's pleased to see, I'm, uh, it pleases me to see you well. Do excuse me for interrupting, Une. My lady, the gentleman from Ishgana Exports has just left. Eh. I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. You did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this morning. Thank you, milady. Ever since we defeated Gaius from Belsa and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world has followed our every move, scars remembering the, to blink. Where once we worked in secrets with pre precious few, uh, with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged with be uh, by benefactors, each more eager than the last to offer us his complete support. A true embarrassment of riches. Just give them to me. That's fine. I won't tell. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavor to engage us more subtly. Dress it how they will. The message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. My... The gentleman Tataru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Naturally, I, f I refused him, as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Alas, the syndicate's overturns are not so easily rejected. Uh, rejected. 
When we formed the Science of the Seven Dawn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interest of individual Eorzeans. Our ne neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this to be true, and yet, and yet, if accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater con consideration? Yeah, I think, yeah, maybe. Our Baldessian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to... Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you so. That's fine, just, just let me read. Yet, my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Okay, uh, let's take a look. We'll go get more in future quests. I think ninja go aiming for the... Uh, okay. I'm not sure about this happening. It's not the first time either. Certain smell, whether strong or not, make me nauseous. Yeah, it just, yeah. It, it sounds normal. Like, there's definitely... If I... Um... Oh, what's the smell like? Um, there is a smell that very much reminds me of like a hospital putting you under with these caps, right? I always get so sick of them and I had to do like hearing operations quite, quite, uh, op they'll call them operations, but you'll get these like these tubes placed in. I had them like eight or nine times, which very much scarred my hearing. That's why I usually talk quite loud. Um, and, and that smell reminds me of it, and I immediately get sick. So, yeah. Uh, I think everyone should be in here. And I'll show you my missions. I still have... I've, I've locked a few up. But we're going to be doing this as well. Now, they won't be in here. And these I'll do uh, with an event later with the Discord. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it so I, I I get what you're saying. Like it's um it's annoying to have that. So here is everyone. Uh let's go deal. Oh, I need to talk to Orange as well. Hopefully we can just skip the green quest. Uh you stole her. Recall you are meeting with the Admiral shortly after Limonia, the Lim Liminzians sent word of the summoning of Titan. Then Mayap you also recall my words to our host. I said unto Mayap that her people had broken their treaty with the Kobolds and that the Beastmen had justly responded. That we had been called to intervene in a conflict which she herself had invented of invited i spoke in short the truth and wherefore did i speak it because owing no allegiance to because owing no uh, allegiance to limsa i felt no compulsion to allow the limensians to distort the fact to fit a narrative which justified their actions and absolved them from guilt. Upon this subject, Minfilia can expect a similar reply. Are many dalliances with the city-states have already weakened our claim to neutrality, but the path see contemplates would see us relinquish it entirely yeah, ten credit. fortune begets power and power fortune that we and especially you have power is beyond doubt the question is what to do with it you may be interested to know that there is a growing belief amongst the refugees that Alamigo could be liberated if only the science would commit their strength to the cause yet there is but one of many causes we stand at a crossroad you know each path is paved with good intentions but 
where they lead is far from clear. That's, that's nice and easy, I like that. Please keep it short and simple for me. I've been receiving a lot of gifts lately, but Palomiro keeps making me sending them back. What a bastard. It wouldn't be so bad, but some of them are really nice. I mean, very nearly abandon your principal nice, you know. I like her. None can deny that we would benefit for, from more support, but if it comes at the cost of our principles, neutrality is ever a delicate matter. I've lost count of the times I've had to explain to people that our allegiance need not necessarily lie in the same place as our headquarters. Mind you, we are to sell our service for Gil. We might as well declare fealty to Ulda now and have done with it. I'm quite sure Ida would enjoy the bribes. I'm quite sure she does as well. Have a good look, MC. Thank you for being here. Alright. Uranger. Oh shit. Oh, this is what I was worried about. He completely starts with this. So this is the quest from the primals. Okay. Such knowledge as I possess of the beast tribes and the primals is at thy disposal. Whether man or beastman, we are we are wont to, to seek power when pl uh, plunged into the black depths of despair. That despair both begins with al who may have already summoned, for, summoned forth Ifrit. With our comrade Tenshrit now return, thou would do well to seek his counsel. I already did. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, Orange. This is the lot of powerful to attract the covetous as well as the needy. Does do produce dictate that those with power proffer aid with one hand while the other resets ever on their hilt. Okay. Yeah, I, I see. He, he talks like Shakespeare. Alas, we have not the luxury of time to decipher our petitioners. Ma machi machinatians? Okay, whatever. Nay, not while the beast tribes do labor unseen, they find in the feet to raise up their fallen primals once more. Doubt not that they shall return, stronger and bolder both, nor that we shall be the ones to meet them. This sacred charge shall ever be ours. This, but a pity we are so few, and our fortune so finite. Actually, that makes sense. I'm going to leave. So, Dale, like Tentred, is uh, Ifrit. Yustola was. Would that be Grad Gradura of Gradura and these guys, like. Titan? I don't know. Anyways, that's for someone, some other moment. Alfinot. Alfinot, my boy. This situation is not wholly unexpected. I too have given much thought to our organization's future. Though it would seem I have reached a different conclusion. Mayhap it's time I make my feelings known to the Adissident. Come along, Una. Elfinet, Una, is all a miss. You desire counsel, and so you shall have it, Minfilia. The signs of the Seven Dawn must leave, Ulda. We must do what? As long as we remain within Uldan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving our headquarters to Vesper Bay only delays the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities and the syndicate has taken note. They will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. 
Surely you realize they are the reason Vesper Bay still lacks an etherite. They know fully well how beneficial one would be to our cause, which is why it is, which is why, which is why it and the others' favor will be deny us unless we cooperate. If Uldan's no longer suitable, where would you have us go? Experience has taught us that the appearance of neutrality is as important as reality. Accordingly, we must keep each of the great nations at arm's length and plan our banner in a place which all agree to be beyond their borders. Mordona Revan's Tall, to be precise, it lies within neutral territory and offers all the essential facilities we require. By way of an additional benefit, it is also frequented, uh, frequented by a virtual legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. That is actually right. I am, of course conscious of the fact that we have developed a certain bond with Ulda and her people over the years. But I truly believe this is for the best that this will... Wow, but I truly believe this to be the best course of action. As you yourself observe, we have invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concert, concerted effort. Ulda Ulda is our home, Alfinot, to cast aside everything we have built to start anew in that desolated wasteland would be beyond reckless. Actually, he makes a point, you don't. The decision is yours to make, and dissident. I only ask that you recall the shared purpose which first moved us to found the science of the Seven Dawn, and which moved you to found the the path of the twelve ere that. We aspire to an ideal, you and I, as just as my grandfather did, that makes us more than mere comrades in arms. We are as much your family as that will be all, Alfino. I'm sure you have some familiar affairs of your own to attend to. Is, is he like pissed? I, I don't really get it. Your concern is most generous, but no. I have left them in the hands of men better suited for the task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to, be, to come before the needs of the order after all. Oh, that's fucking snappy. He is like in your face. Yeah, let's go for the maiming. I will equip it on the uh, on the on the rogue because that makes a lot of sense. Strained vitality. Yeah, let's equip that. Uh, we should get a bit higher than that. And uh, it's good to see that the other ring actually now is gone, and he wants to change it back. And I don't know why. Increase the XP earned by 30% when level 30 and below. When level 30 and below. I'm level 50. Why do you want that ring back? Oh, wait. I know. It has a 1 in every stat. That's it. Okay, Minfilia. And we will go for... You know what? We can just go for the aiming. And instead, the maiming wasn't for the... Uh, I now see what Ida was. I was like... Could he maybe he wasn't able to type? And we get cooked cherry, which is a seal thing. Moving on. Leaving all that. Has it truly come to this? Oh, um, Une. Pay attend to Alfinot. He is eager in some business or, or or other and requires your assistance. Pray be on your way. Alfinot await, awaits upon you. And I have much to think about. Oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time.
Seriously, if, if, if I did not have anything to drink, that would be very, very bad. Who's actually online? Only four, huh? That's a bloody shame. Confounded. She knows that it must be done, and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. Hmm. I should explain. Menfilia's mother, well, adoptive mother, was among the great many who per perished during the calamity. Okay. Uh, Philamin was her name, though you may know her better as the songtress of Ulda. She was a performer of singular talent and much beloved by the people of Eosia, not to mention a certain Charlene minstrel. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge what had happened, that her body was never found only served to encourage speculation. Minfilia too struggled at first to accept the truth, but as uh, Philmini's absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Only recently, at any rate, for whatever reason, rumor has once again begun to circulate that uh, Philmin's is alive and well. One of our informants, Father Illud, has sent word that a woman matching the Songtra's description has been seen of late at the seaside resorts of Costa del Sol. If we could succeed in tracking her down, I have no doubt that her worries, uh, I have no doubt that any worries that now plague Menfilia's heart might be assuaged. I mean to set forward to, uh, to La Nocea at once. Let us re Conven, reconvene, reconvene there and inquire with Master Gagaruyu as to the veracity of these rumors. I love it, man. This guy must be a genius because I'm not getting anything about what he's saying. I'm kind of hoping to get like a moment to fight. Such a talkative episode, huh? Such a talkative stream. I do think, my, actually, when I'm, when I'm looking back at the very first day of me doing this, um, this game, I honestly believe that my English has been has very much improved. Uh, okay. Oh, sweet siren of the sand, my Mogats and Muse, why have you forsaken me? Titan's Bane, I mean, Une, what brings you to my humble resort? Uh, Phil Philemons, you mean to tell me the goddess made flesh who dwells among us until so very recently was the goddess of Ulda. Egget, woman, if I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never let her leave. Okay. Oh, for shame, I think that she now plies her trade for the riffraff of the West or whatever she said she was going. It's a tragedy. I say, a tragedy. West, is it? Thank you, Master Garu. Your information will serve as well. That said, there may be a number of places that she could be. I shall begin researching by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge uh, to spare. I would be most appreciative if you could travel on to Wineport and do the same. I, I, I know Wineport. There's two of them actually. Again two. Last time we were there it's also two. Very returning number. In or up? 
Oh, him, of course. Her husband had left. I meant no harm, sir. He's still scolding people? And you've been scolding for the last, like, I don't know, how many days have I played now? A lot. Well, even to Une, the saver of Wineport, what do we have, uh, what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, yes, I've received a customer matching that description. She was a delight to behold. To give a woman a due, but her perfume was so ghastly. I had no choice but to reject her from the premises, interfering with the tastings, you understand? If she is your query, why not consult your blind associate? His old factory preparation is without peer. Given that I could smell the woman from a mile away, I dare say you could smell her from ten. What's up, buddy? Oh. He was over there actually. He is still he is my blind associate. Alright, whatever. This is a glory absolutely gorgeous place. I love it. Is it indoors? No. Still. There you go. Uh, Jungba. You're not blind. Ah, uh, you want to know if I've seen a uh, Mikote, Mikote Lass by the name of Philemon. Philamin. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. I wish. I've never seen a Lass of any description uh, for far too bloody long. Except yourself, of course. So now I go to my blind... M yeah, now I do it. Wh why did I have to go there? I see you have many great adventures since last we spoke. You, know, you must share them with me sometimes. Oh, I do, but not this time. A girl from a while ago. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust, so intoxicating, yet stimulating familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I am said as much when we spoke. She complimented my power of observation and asked me, where she might find some of them flowers. So I told her to follow the road to the s to uh, road south to Raincatcher Gully, and then head east after crossing the second bridge. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent, you see. If you make haste, you may yet find her there. Uh, so she's there. Okay, never mind. Let's go. I'll try to stay with the road. Otherwise we just don't see anything anymore, right? My dog doing man, he's weird. That was weird, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. He's trying to pull his blanket out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that ain't nice. Okay, let's see how good we can do this. I completely messed up my starting rotation. I should have started with sign, 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 wind. Be more fast. Wow, we're absolutely daring through him. Not that I mind. There you go. Say, I said no. Don't do that. I am in your depth, stranger. I didn't realize my activities as a rounds the gobus. 
Aya until it was too late. The oils can be used to make perfumes, see, and I... Fem, I'm... I don't. Who are you? Who do you serve? Is he lost some It appears you've found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. The songtress of Ulda, I presume. Minfilia, or should I say... Eskilia? Eskilia is looking for you. Eskilia? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe she's memory loss. You are the very picture of health, milady. Yet the world thinks you dead. I can only conclu uh, conclude that this was by design. The question is, why? Not everyone who endeavours to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You will be pleased to know that I'm fully intent to reveal myself to Minfilia when the time is right. I hope I got that in time. Oh well, that does please me, more than you know. But tell me, you saw you sorns in the forest of Lanosia aside. When exactly will the time be right? When I deem it so, do you imagine I travelled all the way on a, on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to our intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers for use in perfume. Does that sacrifice your curiosity? Or would you interrogate me further? My apologies for the interruption, anyway. Now... Now that we have, now that we all have that which we came for, might we uh, continue this conversation in a safe location? Wineport, say? Seriously, man, I, I. There usually is a reason I don't play games where there's a lot of reading, but my God, I failed in my mission. Uh, okay, there we go. This... This is not all how I envisioned it. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Minfilia's heart when she reunites with her mother after all these years. Uh, we go for the aiming. We, we have two rings, right? With that. Uh, we'll just do it like so. It brings up to 61. You know, it might not be perfect, but at least it's something. Uh, the cooking sherry will go to the uh, FC bank. And we're actually getting so full. I might just start throwing stuff in my glam box. And I'll do that off camera. Like, we have a good amount of seals. Like, 23,000. I should be able to buy a lot of these glam prism things. So let's go talk to you. And yeah, so this is well warrior like, which is not helpful at all. Like I wish that it would say oh, what class, you know. Still the skill speed and the direct hit, there's no crit. Like tenacity is very clearly tank. It could be Plugalist. And like Archer? I honestly don't know. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay, yes. I've kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off on the next ferry. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the Walking Sands. He's wasting no bloody time. They finally did it? They finally teleported me back with them? Oh, hallelujah. Once I wasn't left behind. I'm so happy about that. A dissident, you have a guest. 
Oh, I would slap her. Lamin? Wait, is that how you pronounce it? Lamin. Askelia. Slaps her right in the face. Okay, maybe not. How many years it's been? Like, see, this is the calamity. So it's five years. She thought she was dead for five years. I haven't seen her like this in years, Une. No, you... No fuck... No shit, Sherlock. You are a clever little one, aren't you? I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead. But what kept you away for so long? The Imperials came after me, as I always knew they would. And so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could. Lest their pursuit of me endangered you and our cause. I could think of no better way to grant you the freedom to continue our work. And continue you did, achieving things I would not have imagined possible. I followed, ev I followed your every success and celebrated in secret. I'm so proud of you. I learned from the best. Could you just let that in there, please? I have a gift for you. It's a very stinking perfume. Everyone can smell you like 10 miles away. Can you guys hear the dog? I'm sorry if you do. Oh dear. Sal Setia perfume. You remembered. How could I ever forgot? You wore it all the time. If ever I lost sight of you, I could find you again just following my nose. It's oh, it's you who likes to stink. I do not think it was made it was made anymore. You must have gone to so much trouble. It was no trouble for me, my darling. I fear I cannot say the same for Une, however. I could not have made it without her. Thank you, Une. Thank you both. There's something else. This... This is the cat's eye I found. All these years you kept... Wait, you found a cat's eye? And you gave it to... Is this that sick? My father was a member of the Alamingo resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Ulda. The accident which claimed his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was Lamim who took care of me then. She raised me as her own, taught me everything I needed to know to survive. Hmm. I'm no stranger to the facts of your history. Yet I fear I failed to grasp the implication. It is clear that there is much I do not know about you and your mother both. Both. One of her first lessons to me concerning my uh, concerning my concerned mining, and I was a very dedicated student. Okay, so you're a miner. Oh, it's a stone. I was just thinking, my god, that's sick. You find a cat's eye and you give it away? Like, how sick are you? This cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was extremely proud to have found it, nevertheless. So, I gave it to Lahin as a gift. She said it was beautiful, but there I am at a loss. Why are you returning this to me? Is something amiss? No, Acilia. Nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. 
I need you to realize how far you've come and how much further you may still, must, still go. I was waiting for that. That's a, that's a message about my furniture being delivered. Between 11 and 2, so that's going to be a very short night for me. That's going to be lovely. How nice. I need to make sure that I put that somewhere. You and your allies have accomplished more than I could have ever hoped. You have succeeded where I failed and made me so proud that that words fail me. But even as I marvel as, uh, at the woman you've become and, all, and, at, and at all the many things you've done, I cannot help but think of what which you have yet to do. And of that, it's my entail. Eschilia, daughter, you may not stay here anymore. You and your science must leave Ulda. Says that with a smile. <laughs> Says that without a smile. You build it once, Eschilia. Eschilia. Eschilia, yeah, it's Eschilia. You, may, you can build it again, and this time, we'll do it together. Truly? Elfinot, the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. We shall establish a new headquarters in Reverend's Toll, as you proposed. Much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Valdesian. Preparations begin at once. Okay, uh, ring we were going with, yeah, I don't know which one we should go, but what we could do, but there's no point is, is going for something with tenacity, we got gear, that's great, and that's eye level 115, so that's not helping, and I don't have any of the other class, so I'm, I just go for the money, I guess, all 300 gil of it, oh my god, I'm rich. Do I need to do something? Well, whatever. Let's let's get started. Uh, this one has the aiming, uh, dexterity, determination, direct hit rate. Yeah, I'm still thinking like, is this really the one for an assassin? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's go. Hopefully, it's not too long a mission. After this mission, I'll call it one. Um, because, my god, I've been reading for a while now. I had, I had almost no fights in this entire stream. It's been constant story, story, story. It is, it is all well and good. We have found ourselves a new home in Reverend Stall. But there is so much to be done and so little time. Our first step will be to secure the cooperation of the Adventurous Guild representatives there. Where it's not for the guild's considerable efforts, the original camp Reverend Toll would have never been established. Much less its more heavily fortif fortified su uh, successor. However, with constru uh, construction still ongoing and resources in short supply, it seems certain that the guild will require something in return for their support. Sympathetic to our cause, though they may be, whatever they ask, I shall not begrudge it. To be plain, we need them more than they need us. Without their assistance, such essential tasks as securing new facilities, cultivating relationships and local merchants, and recruiting adventurers would prove difficult, 
if not impossible. You need not concern yourself with such matters, antecedent. He is so he's smug. He's so full of himself. Really, Alphanard, if I need if I need concern myself with anything, it's surely matters such as these. Indirectly, perhaps. I, sub I submit that you might instead concern yourself with a different matter, namely, to whom to resolution of such matters might best be entrusted. And here I am. Nor do I come alone. May I present the esteemed uh, oh my god, emissary of the Adventurous Guild at Reverend Toll. Really? It is my honor, Adicident, upon receiving word of your intentions from Master Alfinot, we thought it best to begin talk at the earliest available opportunity. Know that my associates at Reverence Tall hold the signs of the Seven Dawn in the highest regard. We should be honored to welcome your organization. There are, of course, certain prov uh, provisions which must need to be negotiated if it pleases you i would do so it does madam unless i am much mistaken you are the one known as une are you not may i say what a pleasure it is to make your acquaintance staffborn spoke of you in the most glowing terms to steal an Imperial Reaper and then use it to infiltrate the Gallian Castrum is an undertaking few would contemplate, and fewer still survive. You shall always be welcome at Reventor. We hope you will favor us with your presence again ere long. Well met. It would seem our reputation, uh, your reputation precedes you, you know. Mayhap I should dispatch you to Reverend Stoll with all haste, as first intended. But before that, I dare say you have some, uh, you have earned yourself a rest. Oh, thank God, yes. Yes. Rest. Finally. After all, you have traveled so far, and there's already so much you have done for us, and for me. What the hell did I do for you then? We will speak again anon. Till then, take care. Oh, yes. Ah, Une, were you able to get some re Ah, fuck. Able to get some rest. I would ask you to come with me to the Sola. Alphenard just returned and it would seem there is something he would share with us. You're here, good. I come bearing news. The negotiations are concluded. And? Our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Revan's Toll. The Science of the Seven Dawn shall have a new home in Mordona, the Rising Stones. Sounds like a pop. A bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I had come to look forward to Tatsuru's tales of our many guests and their many, many demands. From the walking sands to the Rising Stones, Passably poetic. That wasn't your doing, was it? 
Look at him go. Smock. I'm glad he didn't open his mouth. I too have news to share. In expectation of this momentous day, I personally informed the alliance leaders of our plan, and they have pledged their fail, full support, General Roban included. Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our order's vial of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Are you sure that is wise and dissident? If anything, it is a mere formality. Our, uh, our existence is quite possibly the worst kept secret in Eorzea. She's right. Let us affirm our identity, proclaim our achievement, and all may know that the signs of the Seven Dawn, uh, what the signs of the Seven Dawn stand for. Well, obviously, risk apart, it would be nice to receive a little more recognition. And the people have the right to know who saved him. It is my hope that this gesture will encourage the people of Eorzea to place their trust in us. It would reveal to them the true, true extent of our power, yes. But in so doing, I would show I would show them what it is a power. Wait, I would show them that it is a power account, uh, accountable to no one and at once to all. And what of us? We would have felt primals and face down the empire to you my fellow science i would say this prepare for the challenges which lie ahead and they will be great indeed great i say yet no greater than us and we will rise to them as we have time and again united as one Such a weird bloody sentence. Hmm. There must be something, some way I can... Wait. That area is said to be rich in minerals. Maybe I should ask... Uh, Famin. Now I'm just going to be using how she says it. I think it's like Famin. To teach me the basics of mining too. Alright. That the is on a weird, weird streak. Wow. Okay. Three minutes past six. My voice uh, is still actually good. Like I've been hydrating a lot. <laughs> but still. My. That was a lot of reading. Uh, next up guys. Uh, so like I said, the, the few coming days, I, I won't be able to stream, I will be doing some of the daily quests, probably some of the uh, the Beast Tribe quests, see if I can be a bit more active in that part, and next stream is possibly Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday, I, I in the morning, um, I can't because I have the night shift so that's not going to happen thursday it is so thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it if you haven't already make sure you follow me on twitch and subscribe to me on youtube have a good one bye bye